Welcome to Modeling Income, part of the Mastering on Trajectory tutorial series. In this video, we'll take a closer look at income items and the various criteria used to configure them. The first income item shown here has two ranges, the first spanning to age 50. At age 51, a new range begins with the income becoming $45,000. All income criteria can be changed for each range, independently. The advantage of using ranges is that you prevent accidentally overlapping periods of time. And they also allow you to quickly and easily perform what-if scenarios. For example, in this scenario, going part-time at age 52 instead of 51. The growth override column allows you to model income increases that differ from inflation. For example, if inflation is assumed to be 3% per year, and you expect this income to increase at 5% annually, click Growth Override and enter 5. If you expect this income to keep pace with inflation, there's no need to enter a value in this column. Alternately, if you find your wages stagnating, or you know ahead of time the income amount will never increase, set this value to 0. This individual expects to receive raises at 5% per year until they reach age 50. At that point, they plan to partially retire. They will take a job at a lower wage, and one that they assume will keep up with inflation. Another interesting thing about this scenario is that this individual plans to continue working even after Social Security begins. We see their benefits beginning at age 65, although their part-time job continues to age 70. With all of our income items and ranges defined, we can do some what-if analysis. For example, what if I decide not to work after I begin collecting Social Security? By clicking on the Exclude checkbox, I see the results rendered in my trajectory and the dollar results reflected in the summary. I also see that a warning was raised indicating that this change caused me to run out of funds before age 90. So then, what if I delayed that decision for another year or two? Again, I see the results immediately, and that puts me back on track with no warnings generated. I should take a moment to stress these calculations are obviously no guarantee of results. We will discuss in future videos how to calculate your chance of success based on the values you've entered against historical data. So be sure to check out the other videos in this series 